Fog. The final frontier. Do not paddle in the fog. Just trust me on this. I've done it a couple of times. It's usually not a good idea. And let's talk about why. This is what fog will look like as you're paddling into it early in the morning, say three miles upriver of Shomany or something like that. And it doesn't look that bad until you paddle into it and realize you can see things within 20 yards. Or in some cases, you may not be able to see the bow of your boat. And what's worse is fog will usually rise between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. and continue just after daybreak, maybe until 7 or 8. And at night it looks roughly like, oh, this. This obviously isn't actually the river, but I'm trying to give you an idea of how bad it gets. You will not see anything. And the problem with fog is you will lose your orientation. You will not know if you're going upriver, downriver, across the current. You won't know where you are in relationship to anything else, and you will lose some of your hearing because in the fog, things do not sound the same. The best advice is get off the river. If it looks like fog is building at a checkpoint, stop. Take the opportunity. Go as the way opens unto you, and in this case, go to sleep. Fog can get incredibly bad on the Missouri. And you're thinking, well, hey, I've got this handy dandy pro paddler tool or GPS tool, which is going to tell me exactly where I need to be, and I can just rip right through the fog. It doesn't matter. I'm perfectly safe. No offense to John Marble, fantastic software, but it does not see certain things like barges. Okay, this isn't a barge. I get it. But you can see that the ship can see clearly where it is. And it probably has radar, so it doesn't have to worry about seeing everything on the river. It can see the banks. It can see what it needs to. It will be underway. You, however, are in that dense fog low down. The ship can't see you, and you cannot see it. And when you come up against 100 tons of barge, well, the barge wins. You could come across other things in the water. You're never sure what exactly is out there. There are stories of a phantom bass boat from 2014 that still make the rounds. But more importantly, there are two other things you won't see on that GPS readout. Buoys. And even if you think you know where the buoys are, remember they move regularly high water, or any number of other reasons, the buoy could have moved. You do not want to accidentally run into a buoy in the fog, nor do you want to run into debris as we have in the upper left. This is the Missouri River. Debris could be an entire tree, and you do not want to get caught up in that. That is how people get into serious trouble. So if you wake up and you see fog, relax, wait for it to burn off. It will do so incredibly quickly. I can tell you from experience, I have paddled for miles in the fog, and it has been a mistake. 2014, I hit a fog between Herman and Chamoy, and the last three miles into Chamoy, we're in a dense fog following, just sort of following uh, as much as we could the trees on the bank to keep some orientation, but even though the sun was up, you couldn't see anything. It was horrific. Don't do it. And fog at night is not something that you want to mess with. If you find yourself out on the river in the fog, try to get to the bank. Paddle slowly and cautiously. Try to remember where you are when you see the fog bank so that you can find your way to a safe spot, preferably to the inside of the river where you're going to have sandbars and mud, rather than the outside of the river where you're holding on to riprap. But find some shelter, pull out a space blanket, and go to sleep. Do not paddle in the fog.